So I've got this tiny little CNC mill here. This is a town lab. I believe it's a 512. The only reason I have it is because it was it was so cheap I couldn't pass it up. And it was before I had my Tormach. So I was a little intimidated by CNC and I figured if I could get into it for really cheap and if I failed then it, it wouldn't be that big of a loss. But anyway, uh, this machine served me well for a few months. It's got some quirks. Uh, it's had a rough life before I got it. So I was constantly tweaking and doing things to it to get it to work right. But I made several things on it and gave me the confidence I needed to invest the money in a bigger machine. Best I can tell, except for the motor speed control, all the rest of this stuff is original. So certainly not the most robust small machine out there. Probably not even the best designed. But it worked for what I needed it to do at the time. Now the only reason I'm even doing this is because I've never done a retrofit before. And I've got a I have the machine and I have a probotics three axis kit that I bought many years ago. Never got around to using. So I figured I'd try to do a retro on this before I attempted a larger machine that I have that needs a retrofit and that I actually have to buy components for. So I figured it'd be better to figure it out for free or for the money that's already been spent than to spend a bunch of money and realize I can't figure it out. So anyway, the first step to all this is getting the thing apart and getting it clean. As you just saw, there was some thrust bearings. It could have been a little better. I think they were using regular washers as the uh, bearing surfaces. And the bearings themselves seem to be of a cheaper quality. I had to add all those set screws to that pulley. I think to all the pulleys. Because when I was using it, they just kept slipping. They had a single set screw in them. and Like I said, I had a rough life before me. And it, it just didn't have the grip it needed to hold. This ball screw here for the Y-axis took me a while to figure it out. I couldn't get it off. And uh, finally I realized it's been welded in place from the top. Which seems a little odd, but that's the way it was done. As you can see, this is just a <laughs> like an XY table for a drill press that's been bolted down to a manufactured frame. If I do get this thing working again, and like I said, I used it before, and I was cutting half inch aluminum on it with a 3 8 inch end mill, and it did okay. It struggled a little, but uh, it would certainly be good for engraving and uh, lightweight stuff. So aside from the learning factor, it may prove to be useful yet. So here's all the, the big components. Two parts to the table, the frame and the column. I decided not to take that apart. Just, just no reason. And the head itself. I don't think I'm going to take the head apart. I'll probably take the motor off and clean everything up, but I don't think I'm going to pull that apart. really just wanted to 
and get it apart and get it cleaned up. So it cleaned up pretty good. Good enough anyway. So since the the base and the column is the main component that everything will be attaching to, we'll get that cleaned up and oiled up, protect it for some rust, and next time we'll start some assembly. Well that's it. Thanks for watching.